Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG 9mm Damon, or is it Demon? In any case, it was a great weapon in Modern Warfare 2, especially at the hip shoot. You could really gack people, fast trigger. So I wanted to give it a whirl in Modern Warfare 3 and see if it maintained its gackamole status. Also, the second free for all game today will be played by the guest slayer, Delta Captain Tommy. So let's take a look at the configuration. First, we're playing free for all. 26 round magazine for this thing. Don't worry about the red. Remember, Grandpa always says that, and it's true. Don't worry about the red in this instance because we're going to be using this weapon as primarily as a hip shot, but we're also going to be ADSing. It's not going to affect us in the least. The only thing that I would look at is the ADS movement speed. That's 3.5 meters per second. As long as we keep it around that, we're going to be doing good. The Dex 8 trigger. Hip fire spread max is affected, but look at that minimum hit fire, 1.4 degrees per second. This increases our rate of fire to about 500 rounds per minute, and that's going to be the limit of Grandpa's trigger finger. The Sonic Suppressor excess does that mean extra small who knows that increases the damage range minimally and the bullet velocity don't worry about the recoil the thing recenters and when we hip shoot recoil isn't a factor anyway sprint to fire speed slightly affected three percent not going to notice it keep it around 66 milliseconds so we'll be doing quite well with this weapon the XF Opal a 9. Range, bullet velocity decreased a little bit. Not worrying about the recoil with this weapon. In pistols in general, you don't worry about the recoil. The red is a red herring. And then it, it helps with our movement speed slightly and our ADS speed. And finally, the Sergeant Grip. Again, recoil affected. We're not worried about the recoil. It is. The red is there just to lead you down the path of non-righteousness, to get you off that straight and narrow righteous path. Flinch resistance affected slightly, but with a pistol, flinch isn't a big factor. Helps with the ADS speed, gets it under 200 milliseconds, so it's not a fast ADS with this pistol. And significantly with the sprint to fire speed, giving us the composite 66 milliseconds. So Captain Tommy and I are going to take the 9 millimeter Damon onto the field of honor free for all and let's see what happens. All right, let's get into this. First, let's look at the damage though. 72 in the gourd. That's roughly two and a half shots, but you can't shoot a half a bullet, can you? And uh, high damage upper torso. So we're definitely going to be shooting up. I don't know what that guy's doing. He was sent to the corner. See, the headshots are uh, almost an immediate gag. And with the 500 rounds per minute, it's very fast time to kill. Another high shot. I found that the hip firing was particularly effective. You get a couple on the body, work your way up to the head. Enemy is gag. Of course, there was a headshot and a body shot didn't quite get him. So I raged around this map, got ahead early, but you know Grandpa, he tends to bring the enemy back into the fray. That guy there, I don't know what he was looking at. And that guy, and looking at me, but somebody else is. That was a long shot, so you can get long shots with this weapon. There, I forgot to sw <laughs> switch to my secondary. And... There's another. Grandpa's brought the enemy. There's hip shot right there. The hip shots are dead. Ooh, deadly with this, as are the long shots. Remember that red recoil? I said don't worry about it. Do you see any recoil at all? I should be shooting at the sky with multiple shots based on that red, and it just didn't happen. It's shooting straight as an arrow. Recoil, for the most part, with pistols. Doesn't matter, that guy was trying to beat me down. Elder abuse. Just got a few more gacks to go. And this one is in the books. The weapon is absolutely astounding. It's amazing. The OG, it gets no love in this game too. And I, it probably should. It was a beast with 100 health. 
back in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, that was a torso shot and a head shot, or two torso shots did it. And then there's the Snickers victory, 30 kills. So I'm going to hand it over to Captain Tommy to discuss, as a guest slayer, his game. Hey folks, from the flight deck, this is Captain Tommy. Grandpa decided to let me try out the pistol, so I thought I'd give it a go on no other than Shoot House, which is one of my favorite maps, so we started off pretty good. I'm not usually a big pistol player, but like Grandpa said, this gun has been really awesome. Really low recoil, high fire rate, movement speed's pretty good, ADS is awesome. I figured this area of the map was getting the most action, so I thought I'd hang out here. Oh, he gacked me. Free for All is also fairly a new game mode for me. It is definitely higher paced. Always looking around every shoulder. Got him. Nice little ambush. Been trying to follow Grandpa's tips on the proximity mines. That'll always get you at least four to five kills at least every game, from what I've seen. Well, someone else was watching your videos too, apparently. Now my issue was getting used to using that index finger pretty pretty quick. Trying to get the firing rate up. Still looking around. 16 to 17, fairly close game. Think about the Damon in the head. Headshots. Oh, yeah. Well, after Newbie told me it was 75 on the head, I mean, it, you just got to think about it for a couple of tries, and then suddenly it, it ends up turning natural. But for the most part, I always just ended up aiming for the chest. But if you could just go a little bit higher. And the hip shots are surprisingly really good on this gun. All right, we're tied up. Let's see what we can do. That guy in the green was kicking my butt. Oh, somebody got me. Someone crept up on me pretty good. Oh, he got a doubler. Don't ever forget about those. Yeah, the stairs in this building was getting a lot of action. Oh, I think I have a pretty good fight here. Let's see what we do. I think that was my own proximity. Yeah, don't be afraid to switch over to your primary or secondary if, if you need to reload. Nothing wrong with that. All right, one more to go. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Great win. A little bit knuckle-clenching, but uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, that's a Snickers win for Captain Tommy. He's my son-in-law, so he took my daughter off my hands for me, which I'll be forever grateful for that. So if you like it, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Peace.
online. Your 